the strike is off. Petrochen and the Oilfield Workers Trade Union agree on a settlement after another lengthy meeting today at the Ministry of Labor. The workers were awaiting word all day to know the next move. However, the call was made this evening when the memorandum of agreement was signed. Ian Wayson has more. Petrochen workers will not down tools and will resume work. This was made possible by an agreement reached on Monday evening at the Ministry of Labor. The strike should have started at 10 a.m. while the OWTU were in talks at the ministry. The workers who were awaiting word from Port of Spain got the instruction to wait another hour as Petrotrain were prepared to make offers. Some workers were stationed in the Petrotrain canteen while the majority were stationed at the muster point and at other points. When 11 o'clock reached, no word yet to initiate the strike. 11 became 12. 12 became one. At half one, the workers walked out of the compound singing their union song, still waiting on word from the capital. Then a little after four, the agreement was reached for the 2014 to 2017 bargaining period. An agreement was signed a short while ago. OWTU President General Ansel Roger explained how the increase will be paid. Uh, the first uh, interim payment of the first 5%, which is going to be implemented immediately, and so that workers are going to receive that at the next payroll cycle. Another important agreement on Monday was a commitment in writing by Petrotrain to complete the outstanding negotiations by February 28th. Petrotrain President Fitzboy Herewood was pleased they have come to an agreement. He said he was looking forward to going home to his family since he has been in the ministry since Sunday. We have avoided a strike. We will continue to earn foreign exchange and continue to run our refineries and sell refined products. So it now becomes integral to part of the business of running Petrochina as we go forward. Mr. Roger confirmed the negotiations were not only about dollars and cents. But it has to focus on greater levels of efficiencies and safety and uh, ridden petrochin of corruption and so on, and maladministration and uh, poor management, all of those things which contributed to petrochin uh, being in the situation that it is in today. The 2011 to 2014 bargaining period is still before the industrial court. Ian Wason for CNews.